Can we do anime? <laughs> Welcome to the Mugcord oh, yeah, 386 okay. subscriber special. Yeah, which is, I think... It's the same the as last same time. Amount of subscribers is, yeah, okay. We should, yeah. Um, we should do some, like, we should do, like, some anime topic, obviously. Like, uh... Um, uh anime... Anime... Anime boobs. I don't anime want to do sucks. this to your list. Leafy his ass. I don't yeah, I think do this, yeah. TSB. Josh, can you suggest one? Um, can, you, can you suggest a topic? I, I think anime boobs was probably fine. Um, Should I just search anime boobs? Yeah, yeah, fuck it. If we can't demonetize, we can't demonetize. Anime. I don't see Where's boobs. Where's the bitch? Wait, what? Why is it? Hot anime babes. Anime adventure. The worst hot anime babes. Up a bit more. Up a bit more. There you go. It's um. Next was Aro. Yeah. Next so your is mouse is basically on. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> All right. I guess we're doing this one. I we have really to. Really don't know if we want to do this. Yeah, we have I don't to. Want to do that. I don't to. Want... There's no, a bunch no, of like no, Pokemon no, no. girls in there. Do it. Splatoon Inkling was there. My favorite anime. Hottest anime, man. I feel like we've done that. Not only social anime tier list. <laughs> a lot. The... Why is Fab be the thumbnail? The... Those are just anime. <laughs> anime superpower tier list. Like, maybe? Sure, sure. We can do I don't know if I know everything. enough of the powers, though. Yeah, me neither. I feel like I really like most of them. Like yeah, we probably do, but, like, I yeah. I don't want to do this one either. My Hero Academia. Ooh, Arts, anime I've anime watched. Girls not watch mods. Nope. Yeah, Why did they have Rex Angel TV's rules? I think lists such as this like, ugly. a person who watched like 20 anime is just top 10, like 20 anime. Like those kind of lists are like. Yo, Estrogen Ash Witches anime too. What? Why did you circle crop them, you piece of shit? <laughs> I'll do this one. How long do you think this person's been watching anime just from looking at I this? feel like I've seen Five all minutes. of these, except for like <laughs> one or two. Certainly no all of them. Yeah. <laughs> We can do I this one. Have, okay. I have seen all of them. Or I guess I've well, dropped maple, some of them. That makes sense. Parts. Makes sense that Maple has seen all of them. It's playing Maple. They like rank separate Pokemon seasons, which is a little bit annoying. Like I dropped Demon Slayer <laughs> and I dropped JoJo's, but I think the rest I've seen. Oh no, I haven't seen Horimiya. I have read a bit of it though. Josh has lost the title of like most Demon Slayer hater person to Maple. All right. That crazy. One Punch yeah, Man. The best of the fucking show. One Punch Man is okay. Um, it's between it's Need for season... Development and Mid, I guess. If it's just season one, it would have been good, but with the later stuff, I agree. One Punch Man later. was the first yeah. anime I watched. Fun fact. Really? I think One Punch, yeah. I think one punch Man is... I didn't know like, that. That's except awesome. for, like, Pokemon when I was, like, I mean, yeah, 12 yeah, years the old. The first anime that you watch when you're like, this is anime. Yeah. Okay, That's I, I, I think I always just happen. because of the later season. I mean, like. So I don't even remember. Maple is like such a, Maple is like such a predictable guy. It's like same thing with Trigun. Like, no, this second yeah, season, no yeah, one yeah. punch man. Well, hey, hey, I, no, I, this is it, just it, about. This is just about. Looks worse. Story way better. First, first yeah, season yeah. of One Punch Man, like eight <laughs> episodes, like twelve yeah, episodes true. are like super boring. Like it's, it is how it is. It's good in the manga. Like I do like it in the manga. It's just yeah, well, the, anime the manga. kind of fails at being an anime. I find. Because the production. No, Maple, the animation there. was fine. The animation was fine. Pe people just go, like, they, like, sometimes people literally are like, I will, I just want to watch, like, nice animation and no story. Because, like, based on, like, animation, yeah, season one is better. Based on story, season two is better. Yet people pretend that season one is this, like, goaded piece of, like, goadedness, and then season one is trash. Which is so weird. Like, season two has so many more funny bits, so much better characters. There's way better storyline. Like, go back and watch season one. Like, outside of, like, it looking nice, like, Eight out of the twelve episodes are like nothing happening, like and unless you watch one episode for the first time, like where like 
gonna do like healing and truth to the gimmick. Like, watching it again, it's like, oh, this is super boring. There's like, tw this is a tw 12 minute, 20 minute episode where, where nothing happens besides Saitama, like, lifting weights. I don't even remember. It's been too long. I. That's been far too long. It has been a while since I've um, seen the first season. Like, can you remember anything about season one besides the Mugen, like, writer stuff? I can't no. even remember that. No, man. I'm also, like, I'm I'm more or less a band here, to be fair. Season two is, like, such a visual downgrade, but then the story at that point it's is. It's okay, a lot the more next fun. season's gonna a be peak. Thank you, Mappa. Characters, blah, blah, blah. Pray emoji. Um, and Garo is great. Everyone fucking loves him, with good reason. Um, yeah. With the next anime, I'll just get my opinion out of the way. Absolute bottom tier. Now you yeah, guys we get can it. discuss what you actually think. Ah, uh, fucking... is a solid mid. I'm between. I... The... Or development in mid, I guess. I, I got into Demon Slayer back when it was airing after the one episode aired and people were super hyped yeah, about it. This was yeah, yeah, it was episode nineteen. This was still back when I was pretty new to anime in general. I was looking for stuff to watch and I like heard people talking about it and I was like, hmm, I could watch something while it's coming out. That'd be exciting. So I watched Demon Slayer and I mean I binged <laughs> through it pretty quick. Like the I enjoyed idea it enough. Of, like... <laughs> Just oh, I can watch something while it's coming out. Uh, like five sixths of the show had already. Aired. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I and mean, like the last like, three episodes are like healing. Yeah, part. well, because the thing is, this was so early on in like me watching anime that it just it wasn't even on my radar. Like I didn't even know like Demon Slayer. Like it's just not yeah, no, I that's about. that's a thing that happens sometimes when you're new. It's it's a weird feeling. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like, that was my experience at first with season one. So I enjoyed it quite a bit. And then as it went on, maybe it's just because I watched other better things that my tickle for shonen cool stuff isn't scratched as much anymore by Demon Slayer. I will say, looking at like the rest of this list, um, this is pretty current. So I think this Demon Slayer key visual represents all of Demon Slayer anime right now. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, even, like, fucking Zom 100 is later on, which yeah. aired, like, after, uh, Swordsmith Village arc or whatever. It's also free run that's currently airing, so... It is? Yeah, yeah there you go. Um, whoa. But yeah, so, like, you it's know... I like Demon Slayer enough. Like, is... I'll definitely keep watching it. Even if it wasn't a Mugcord meme, I would still watch it. Yeah, I mean, like, I... I, know right. I would enjoy it, as opposed to, like, My Hero Academia, which I would solid. watch just because it's fucking because i'm watching it yeah mm. i'd put it in in like mid okay that's probably fair to be fair i guess um i don't think it's <coughs> like at its worst i i really can hate parts of it but like at its best i can have quite fun with it um so mid is probably fine by me um, i'll take it Luxury, to me is a straight sauce uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I love seeing a, a Kirara manga get that level of adaptation. I think Cloverworks like <laughs> completely went above and beyond for a source material that's like, you know, just fairly standard. I guess um, every every like decision made is in service of elevating the story, these characters, this. The comedy, especially, um, the just funny, amazing, just impressive, great direction, um, great voice acting, a lot of good scenes, a lot of good character interactions. Bochi to me has a lot of like really strong, memorable moments, which isn't something you always get in the genre it operates in. Um, I, I think it's great. I think it was. <laughs> I'll say well deserving of winning Anime of the Year at the Mug Court Awards 2022. Um, I have less to say, but I fully agree. It was an amazing anime. Yeah. Definitely. Any there. other opinions? Is I, still here? Uh, so, yeah, so, well, <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, the cute girls doing cute things kind of stuff isn't usually my go-to. I'm not a huge fan of that kind of thing. I do like yeah. like band shows like this quite a bit. Um, to an extent, I feel like there's a certain way that they could be handled pretty poorly that Bochi isn't. Um, so yeah. I, I guess it was fine. Um, 
uh what else do i want to say like obviously the production is very good and like a lot of like details moment to moment stuff was fun and good um i don't like bochi yeah like at all i like i yeah. like the i like the other girls fair enough like the blue one is pretty cool yellow one was yeah. fun ichiko red one i don't really remember anything about i think she was gay ichiko. which is you know cool she is gay um but i don't know i found i found bochi herself to be just kind of like i get i get the appeal of a character like her but it's just i know too fucking much it's just Um, like yeah bando do you have any thoughts on bochi have you consumed a a millisecond of it i watched episode one with you guys and i thought it was fine yeah yeah did you? Yeah. I don't think so. This was this was before Mug Season was. Yeah. It was in fact this during Mug Season. This was the yeah. season before Mug Season was, I think. Because this well, was fall yeah. 2020. Yeah, no, well, we also didn't. Fall 2022. Same season as Chainsaw Man. We definitely did not Chainsaw Man in DC. And everyone else was talking about how Bochi is a bit over the top. And then Josh was like, I like this a lot. And I would watch this like, on my own. I don't remember that. Something like that. It happened. Um, Saika was there as well. You might be making this up. I think it's dry seasoning. Dry seasoning is probably fair, given yeah. two sauces, bando, no opinion. Um, oh, you're playing April is on this list. Uh, this is good. It's very excited. This is my least favorite anime Rock by a country mile. Over for this um, <laughs> I'm not accepting I, your line, April, below Demon Slayer. I, yeah, me neither. I think Demon Slayer wipes the floor <laughs> with you. No. No. But I'm I'm not like about to. I, I don't want to fucking restate my opinions on the show too much. I don't like it for like a lot of reasons. I, I I really don't like it actually. But like, you know, that's just me. Um, this I think I, I, will... I think for me, your line April. It was one of the things that I watched really really early on. It was. <laughs> I think I remember like posting about it somewhere like, oh my god, you guys, I'm an actual anime fan now. I'm watching this show. And that was with Your Line April. And the reason right. I was watching it is because like um I wanted something with like the musical aspect, which I hadn't really yeah. seen before. And like that's kind of my whole thing. I really like music a lot. So the like the the things that the characters do, like the performance competitions and stuff like that's all stuff that i've done and like like been a part of my life since kind of forever and the way that it's portrayed is done really well like i the performances and the music one of the things that i really appreciate about this show that a lot of music shows don't do is that they show the characters just fucking up the music they like actually reflect that in the like performances that they do like a lot of times you'll watch a show and a band will perform and it sounds great and then you'll see the characters that are like boo that was bad and then another band will perform and it's the same and then they like As praise it but she also has the characters fucking up the music yeah it does which i give it props yeah. for um yeah. and your line april did a very good job of that and like even with the animations of like everything matching up perfectly with what this music is doing is very good um it's just very good at that aspect um and obviously it's very like over the top melodramatic which i don't mind that's kind of a thing that i do kind of like anyway um i mean if you remember like the hyoka video (laughs) the other day the the thing i was always complaining about is like the show struggles between being (laughs) grounded down to earth and wanting to also be like larger than life with like exaggerated characters Mm -hmm. um you're lying it would have been a good show for me to bring up there as something that does exaggerated characters yeah um, it's true yeah. it does um I, i'll maybe rewatch at some point it has been almost six years since i first watched it um, which isn't to say my opinion would change necessarily but like at the very least i'm a bit smarter <laughs> you know um yeah certainly i can understand why like with the music stuff being so, like, relatable to you, really. Mm-hmm. That is just, like, a, a fundamental difference in our lived experiences that makes Your Lie in April, like, a very 
different show for each of us. Um, out of curiosity, what tier would you put it in? Sauce. Sauce. <laughs> right, so we're right down the middle. Mm -hmm. um, Maple, where you put it? That, Sauce. Okay, Bando. Bando. Do you have any thoughts? I just heard Bando say sauce, so I think it's going to be sauce. Bando! <laughs> Bando! I fucking hate this Bando guy! Where'd he go? He betrayed me in such a crucial moment. Yeah, thanks. Right, so if we mathematically assign every tier uh, a number value and then de decide on an average based mm -hmm. on that, Five, five, one, divided by three, uh, average is out to about four and a half. Yeah, you can put yeah, it above so Bochi. It's, I, so it's it, definitely it better than Bochi. Better. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's fine. Um, nice. If, if Bando shows up, then maybe it can go higher. Uh, maybe it gets knocked out. If Bando fucking hates the show, then it'll get to go, like, a true mid. Too late. It's already locked in. We're talking about Sailor Moon now. Okay. Um, I love Sailor Moon. Um, I... Mm -hmm. My my personal experience with Sailor Moon is, um... In, like, 2017, I watched Madoka, thought it was great, decided I'm gonna get more into Magical Girls. And then in, like, 2019 or something, uh, it was Usagi's birthday. And I was like, fuck it, let's watch Sailor Moon. I'll do one episode a day. Um, I thought that was like a really digestible way to get through something of Sailor Moon's length. Um, mm -hmm. And I didn't actually... How, how many days did it take total? Because I... There were moments where I missed days, there were moments where I skipped ahead, and then I did also watch the various movies and Crystal and stuff. Let's let's call it like 240-ish days or something. Mm -hmm. um, that was like one of the nicest periods of my life in general and i think sailor moon is l not largely responsible for that but a significant contributing factor because pretty much every day i would get to like go home put up an episode of sailor moon experience this like wistful nostalgia for a time i wasn't there for um this like very romanticized series about just life for for a young girl in Japan in the 90s as technology starts to develop contrasted with the magical misadventures of being Sailor Moon uh, it was really nice uh, it's visually really really like iconic and lovable even though it looks very like goofy a lot of the time mm -hmm. as you would expect from 200 consecutive weeks of anime production um, there might have been some breaks there, I don't know. Um, but no, overall, I think it's good. It resonated with me a lot. I still look back on that time I watched it fondly. I have rewatched some individual episodes that stood out to me as, like, highlights a couple times and just been like, God, this is still great. Um, for what it's worth, like... I'm someone that doesn't think objective criticism isn't really a thing, but also while I was watching Sailor Moon, uh, partway through that I also picked up Cardcaptor Sakura, watched episodes of that daily as well. Cardcaptor Sakura kind of wiped the floor with it, in terms of quality. Yeah. Like, it is like leagues ahead. Sailor Moon definitely, like, it's formulaic, it's repetitive, mm -hmm. the character writing is very simplistic, and it, yeah. During, like, long stretches of nothing episodes, it can get downright boring. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Supers is the season where I really felt kind of fatigued on it at times. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, it's good. I like it a lot. I'd comfortably put it in dry seasoning, I would say. I, I um, can agree with that. I also... More really like Stiller Made. It. But I watched Stiller <laughs> as a kid, so... I'll be like... real. More like Sailor Mid is <laughs> up the worst. More like Sailor something joke that you guys have made before. <laughs> no, that was extremely funny. More, more like Just Sailor. Josh talking okay. for five straight minutes about how much Sailor Moon means to him. <laughs> and then Pando just... More like Sailor Mid.
Thanks, Bando. That's good. By the stuff. way, Bando, what tier would That's you think comedy. you're lying out, Roland? Real quick. I have not seen it. All right, stay well, there. Too bad. So, um, but yeah. yeah, to me, Sailor Moon is like eating dry seasoning. Um, I, okay. I very much liked it, and as much as I respect it for its effect on anime, I'm also slightly um salty about how it killed it off magical girls and made magical girls what they are today hmm. but interesting of, take I mean, mabel well he's he's talking about it. a real thing but he's talking about it in a maple way mm-hmm. um, I, I, look i fully respect sailor moon and love it i'm just going to say my one grievance with it is it kind of killed off the original style of magical girl for the action one i like both of them so i'm sad one of them kind of died hmm. that's a vote for what's worth, I, I think Precure probably contributed to that more than Sailor Moon did. Sailor Moon is the one with the reputation in the West, but Precure is the one that's been doing it uninterrupted for like twenty straight years. Well, I've heard the arg- just I've heard the argument that Precure also kind of killed Sailor Moon off. Well, but yeah. Way. <laughs> but anyways, that's my one grievance with it. I love Sailor Moon. Besides that, dry seasoning I think is a fair place. Yeah. It was. Bando, have you watched Sailor Moon? By the way. I did, but I was like. The baby, so I uh, did you like it? it? Constantly nothing. Uh, I mean, yeah, like Ooh, dry seasoning or sauce. Yeah. Well, okay, so I saw Sailor Moon just the first <laughs> yeah, season. Yeah, your turn. Um, and I so I haven't watched beyond it. I I intend to. Um, the one thing about Sailor Moon I really like just obviously the aesthetic is great. The characters are pretty fun. Um, the music is very fun. And kind of honestly, beyond that, I didn't really get too much out of it. Um, I think a lot of it just kind of felt like, um, I don't know. I mean, it's a monster of the week show. Yeah, yeah, it didn't like a lot of stuff just didn't have to be there. Um, and I get that there's a lot of stuff that's like trying to characterize some of the characters more from the source material, but to me, it just kind of felt like, eh, I already like these characters well enough. I don't need more development for them in meaningless ways um i also didn't like like any of like every time there was a fight between anyone i wasn't into it at all um i think it's just every single time there was like a one of the guardians would just like click the win button and all of a sudden just win and that was it like power of friendship done fight over no stakes Um, which obviously I guess it's, it's, it's like a kid's show. It's not supposed to be like high stakes. Like, oh my God, is Sailor Moon going to fucking die? Like it's, it's not that kind of show, but because of that, it didn't appeal to me as much. Um, That's limited. Yeah. That's fights really. Um, mm-hmm. and I mean, the, it just so much of the runtime was like the girls talking about having crushes on the boys and getting boyfriends and, and that kind of stuff, which turned me off to it as well. It, like almost every episode at least of the first season yeah, that i saw fair. it just kept coming up and i got very tired of it very fast um i think i think that's about all i have to think i i think it was no, i think it's mid fair. from mammer i think the boyfriend stuff kind of becomes less frequent as the show goes on that um, makes sense as it gets more modern i suppose yeah, yeah, more modern, couple more characters are part of it in general, the plots tend to be a bit more, like, involved. Um, I, I'm not gonna say it's gone, though, uh, at all, <laughs> um, but, you know. Um, so we're two dry seasonings and a... Whereabouts would you put a tag in? Mid. Mid? Okay, I think that's, I like, bottom of seasoning, then. Yeah. mathematically, yeah. Should we just throw all the Pokemon Kalos together? Because I, I definitely... No, they're different. So Kalos, they are different, I saw I have... only the fight at the end between Ash and what's his face, and it was fucking peak. I have oh, seen the yeah. first episode of Kalos uh, I watched all of it. on YouTube when I, I think when it came out, um, I I I know nothing. I've got nothing. Um, I'm honestly kind of biased towards Pokemon, but well, yeah, me too. But I haven't seen much of Kalos. Well, I mean, like, I, I've, I've seen all of Pokemon up to Kalos, or I guess up to Sun and Moon multiple times. I would only... put pretty much all of them pretty high up there. Where would you rate Kalos? Uh, oh, honestly, no, they're all probably over. dry seasoning. It really stepped up the animation. Should we put all the, should we do all the Pokemon at once? We can. That's more, that's fine. Yeah. Isn't it? There's oh, Kanto. 
So this is Johto. Um, Johto. Yeah. Or Johto. Sorry. I, this is Kanto. Like... This is Hoenn. Oh, where yeah. Yeah. is over there. Down you know far is far right. Or at Hoenn is far to the yeah. right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are and there any more? You know, Hoenn is below Angel Pizza there. Yeah. And then... down bottom. Yeah, but six by five more. I think that's all of it. I think that's all they have. Like it only goes up to. X we got every single region wrong there. Um, I didn't. No. Speak for yourself, so, fake fan. Um, I mean, you said sun and moon. Where is sun and moon in this, huh? What? It's more of a question of if it's there. I'm assuming. Anyway, Johto. I think I've seen one or two Johto episodes in my life. I think I saw I really a lot of it when I was a kid and just don't remember. See, Johto specifically, uh, like, barely got rerun here. <laughs> so I just kind of didn't get to see a lot of it. Like, I did, I, what I did as a kid, I, like, logged onto the family computer and found some really sketchy-ass website. Somehow, like, 12-year-old me was able to do this and just, like, watched Pokemon. So, like, I, and I got through a lot of it. And this was, like, yeah, forever ago. So Johto Hoenn was, like, as far as I know, modern stuff. No, that's fair. Um, but I don't remember Johto yeah, at all. I, I will say, my uh, the run of Johto through Sinnoh was like my absolute favorite of Pokemon. The oh yeah, for me, Hoenn was anime. fucking peak. I remember watching that shit on TV on like Cartoon Network. And that was, that was yeah. the best. For me, it's Sinnoh, I just because Platinum was so much fun to me. But, like, Gen, Gen 2 to 4, though, was, that was my peak of Pokemon, where I was I know all mm -hmm. the Pokemon. I play the games all the time. Rewatch the show like mm -hmm. every few years. I think anime wise, Kanto and Sinnoh were the ones that played the most over here. So they're the ones I exposed myself to the most. Um, I and in black and white, I kind of was able child. to follow as it was airing to some degree, but not like that much because again, fucking TV shit. I have, I I would watch Pokemon only on linear TV. Uh, unless mm -hmm. I had like a DVD of any of the movies, to be fair, I had a couple. I also only watched um, Pokemon that way, but I think I've seen most of Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, uh, and also no, 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 actually, I think Diamond and Pearl. I got really bad at like catching up with it because like it was airing in, like a bad slot for me school wise. Hmm. Uh, yeah, like I think the first three seasons of Hoenn, I've seen like probably most episodes multiple times. Uh, fair. I How good is Johto? One of these. I think Jodo is pretty good. That one had like the island thing, for example. I think the island one was oh, really good. Oh yeah, I remember it. Part, I would consider that part of part of season yeah, one, that, right? That would have been Indigo. That yeah. It's Orange Indigo League, yeah. Indigo. Does it, yeah. What? I'm sure yeah. They had, like, I think Jodo they one, right? they had introduced like Togepi and stuff. But like, yeah. Yeah, well, Togepi that doesn't was count. In Kanto itself. Yeah. Like Togepi was yeah. there for I the consider Orange Islands part of Gen one. Because, you know, uh, Orange Island is in Gen 1. That, that was I the think... bridge between Gen 1 and 2 with the GS ball and stuff for Celebi. Yeah. I think Orange it's Islands awesome. is the same, like, production block as well. Like, I think if you go on, like, Annie List or whatever, the, like, it's, roughly 200. It's considered part of this first Gen one, one, yeah. Includes in that case, it, yeah. Gen 1 was pretty dope. Uh, Gen 1 is Gen great. Solid, Gen 1 is just, oh, like, yeah. really yeah. iconic. It's iconic. Good. It's, like, memorable. Everyone fucking knows it. I, it's, it's there, I think Jodo starts with Jodo started with the one movie where they introduced Don Fan before like Gen 2 even came out. Oh, I do yeah. remember the Don Fan thing, the yeah. First, mm, the first movie? Yeah. Um, yeah. It starts with that, and then you have like. You have like some iconic. I mean, that's the that first generation. movie. It's still in Kanto. They fucking go meet YouTube. Yeah. It just happens I mean, like, on Don Fan. It? <laughs> it happened in Gen 2. I really remember a like, lot of the gym battles in Gen 2, honestly. Uh, I think I remember like the best. The, 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 the to be fair, it needs more development. Maybe the tier we just put in because it's evidently the one that the like most. I don't remember anything games. about it. Uh, like, I, and I remember like very iconic Ash mods. Like, I think Ash Total that was like one of my favorite put one he ever had. That's I true. Really, I love that guy. But is it, it enough like to like? Coco, but less goofy. Yeah. But, like for the time period, it was pretty good. The, I think this is a needs more development by Ash definition Palabra of the video. actual like yeah. name of the. Here. <laughs> um, there, there are still episodes I, that I go out of my way think, to rewatch from Johto. I love all the openings. Johto, it just feels like very similar to Gen. Like I feel like 
the bridge between Gen 1 and 2 doesn't feel like as cut as with other generations. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's like, yeah. I like the electrical it's still girl. messy there. It's still the, the classic art style. Asus yeah. design doesn't change between them or anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that part's part, like, feels so similar, I guess. I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure. I, it probably has a lot of dope episodes. That, like, if I watch them, I was like, oh, it's this episode. I'm so excited. Hey, Pokemon like, group art yeah, is going to be great, yeah, like, but that's so true. no mugs want to do it, so, you know. I, I think yeah, Gen 1 and 2, like, the fires and like realistically speaking, no. I would just put that next to one another because I consider them the same thing. Gen basically. 1 is so like, good, though, dude. It's got like, a lot I, like, of good stuff. I have started, a feeling like, if I like, went back to wait, it, there a lot would of be, like, things... obvious awkwardnesses, yeah. but... Just Gen 1 and 2, just, like, 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 I consider them the same thing, basically. Like, I, I, I don't have the mental cutoff for Gen 2. I don't remember I anything remember. from Gen 2, but I remember most episodes of Gen 1. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's because... The also, like, early Ash uh, banter or whatever, when it was, like, kind of sassy, those clips. Just on. everyone, yeah. like, Ash, Team Rocket, yeah, Brock, yeah, Misty, yeah. every the whole cast. That was just, like, the vibe of the show. It In was general, just like there's that. also something... It's fun going back to, you know... Gen 1 Pokemon before so many of the franchise stuff was set in place and seeing like there's like a couple episodes with just regular real world fish in them because that detail <laughs> isn't like fully established or like when Gary shows Ash his gym badge thing and he's got like fucking 12 of them or something just like little yeah it's like early franchise oddities that got ironed out and are like fun to look back on you know um and I think that has value. To me, it's seasoning. I yeah, say. I agree. I think it's also seasoning. That's probably fair. Um, yeah, let's call it that. Hoenn also didn't really air over here when I was like into Pokemon, so I kind of missed most of it. Uh, That's super Not just right. that, I had yeah. like... I had seen tons of Diamond and Pearl, didn't like the contest episodes at all, and I would, like, see Hoenn episodes, and it's just, like, now it's contest episodes, but it's May, and I don't even know her like I do Dawn. So I just, like, eh, didn't really get that into it when I was younger. Um, I it's probably it. also my least favorite Ash design, honestly. I don't like that that jacket. <laughs> but that's not that big a deal. Again, it's one I, I remember about as well as I do Johto, which is to say, not really at all. Um... So, well, Pope you know. Advanced is kind of pe is kind of good. We're like Pokemon. I, re I really remember like for one, I remember the uh, opening for this one a lot. This one was like airing on TV at like a time where I was like more mentally developed. I was like, this was I really always wanted to watch it. Uh, this generation has some of Ash's best Pokemon, I think. Like, like, uh, oh, well, anything like do the like his Grovile, for example. Ooh, Dude, like, such a cool. Bunch. I still remember when that guy evolved. Like, then you have things like that's so uh, fire. At, you, have, you, have, you have like Ash has Swellow, which does like in this generation does things like the Swellow Pikachu Golden Armor combo thing. Yeah, that you have, would you have awesome. so much cool things in this generation. You have things like the Frontier fights where he like he fights the Regis. That, that was such a that was, that was like actually like really Brandon dope. I like Brandon as a yeah, the, mm -hmm. Frontier brand. Advance actually has just so much dopeness. I don't remember like any Team Aqua and Magma shit. Like I don't think they even appear. Did they even appear? I, in, I don't remember. Movie? I don't remember. They do. There's, well, there's a whole plot where Pikachu gets like control of the really... worms and stuff. Well, I don't... Oh yeah, that one did happen. I forgot about that. That that is that that doesn't need to happen. They're always yeah, kind of battle... around, but they didn't do a whole lot. Yeah, it's it, it, it's kind of like more like typical and stuff, but like there's so many like super iconic battles and like Pokemon in this generation that like it's just so dope. Like, if, if you weren't, like, every time, like, Ash's Grovile was, like, winning and, like, doing, like, super cool Sasuke stuff with, like, the... <laughs> oh, yeah, they're all just wicking them out because he's, like, so cool and dope. <laughs> like, there's uh... so much dope in this... Like, like this one was, like... This is, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX of Pokemon. It's, like... True. It was made for, like, kids. They weren't, like... <laughs> it was made for kids that were, like, growing up and, like, just hitting puberty. So, like, they needed some, like, more cool stuff. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. It's Pokemon peak. Also that so, part where Torkoal tried to drown itself, jumped off the boat into the water to go swimming. I don't it's know. also one of my favorite movies. Oh, yeah, also I think one of the episodes. Was was introduced as, um, 
Maybe it was introduced to make it more girl friendly. Like here was a contest one contest, you know, we were less Pokemon fight based and more like cool. And, and, I mean, you did some cool stuff as well. Like but honestly, I think the contest stuff is like underrated in the anime. The I think contests are like fun to watch in the anime because they're not like just use move and then, like. I probably would like them now. I don't remember liking them before. Contests, see, contests in the anime are generally some of the best things because it's like. Pokemon putting up like a cool move performance where they like make like a cool attack and like looks awesome. And, like they, some of the most creative things happen in the contest. I like if you if you rewatch it, you're probably gonna be like, "This was so dope!" Like it's way better than a fight almost mm-hmm. sometimes. Like so, uh, especially like Gen Four, I think has like really really nice, pretty looking ones later on. Uh, it's just really dope. Uh, you have like some rivals that are like, pretty cool. Like the I think in Gen Three, it's like a guy that uses Roselia. This Roselia is kind of cool. True. I, mean, mm-hmm. I think you, I think that wipes me like for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, but... mm-hmm. Yeah, look, look, in general, just really good memories of Gen Three. Like, obviously, a little vague because it was so long ago, but like, yeah. there are some real iconic things in this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Peak. Oh, Diamond I Peril. I don't remember I this. Fucking loved Diamond Peril as a kid. So that was I the know. one that was airing all the time over for me. Um, and that one just has so well. it's got I, I'm is it, is it the first proper shonen series of Pokemon maybe it's got like a lot more fights I feel a lot I mean, more this rivals was, this was um, more battle oriented I think yeah, Paul was, like, yeah. I think Paul was like the first Ash rival that was like constantly oh. present and constantly whooping him yeah 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 I think like Ash gets two of the starters I think both of them fully evolve, actually. They do. Um, for Terra and for Nate. Yeah, yeah. There's a, I remember when he's fighting, like, Volkner or whatever at, with Infernape, and he, like, gets, like, a Blaze proc and just starts, like, you know, coming back. And it was, like, the coolest fucking Infer- thing I'd Infernape, ever seen. Infernape was definitely, like, the OG Greninja to some degree. So I was, like, it was, like, the OG where, like, you really was always... You were always rooting for him. Because, like, the plot yeah. is so nice, right? Pancham gets abandoned by... Paul, because that guy's a bozo. And then Ash trains him, and then they turn and uses him to beat Paul. And that was, like, really good plotline. Really fun plotline. Pancham, like, honestly, no, not Pancham, um, Pan... Chimchar. Chimchar, that's the name in English. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Chimchar, probably one of the most, like, rooted for Pokemon in the Pokemon anime ever. It, it, it's just like a perfect underdog story. And, like, I mean, to yeah. be honest, Infernape is just kind of dumb. Yeah, Infernape's dope. I like Dawn. Brock is still in the season, it's fun. He has Krogunk by now, which, like, not Krogunk. Wait, yeah, Krogunk. Um, he has Krogunk. Krogunk. Which is just a Pokemon that I, like, associate with Brock. It almost feels like. It feels weird imagining Brock without Krogunk. Krogunk was, Krogunk was the audience, like, Brock, you're being annoying. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I. We're not exactly factoring the movies into this, but the Gen 4 movies are the best Pokemon movies. That's um, honestly probably true, yeah. Yeah. Dark, also, the like... Dark one, you have the Manaphy one, you have the Shaman one. Uh, I, I am fortunate Gen 3, to be... I yeah. think, wasn't it? Oh, no, that was... It, no, it's, yeah. uh... There's no, the Manaphy one... Is Gen 4. It's it's dar- Gen there's 4. the Dark Cry one, the Shaman and Giratina one, then the Arceus one, and that also yeah, is the Zoroark one. one. Zoroark um, Yeah, yeah. Um, the Manaphy one is, like, the Pokemon Ranger call that one, right? I'm pretty sure the Ranger so. one is Gen 3. I mean, either way, like... I do remember Manaphy. The movies that are definitely Gen 4 are dope. I remember... The, the, again, this is the one that I kind of got to see the most of as a kid. So I remember, like, when Ash actually got to, like, fucking... The championships or whatever. And there's the guy that, like, fucked up his entire team with legendary spam. And it was just, Tobias. like... Yeah, yeah, him. Um, and I as a kid... Policy. One That's the like things they ever so did, by the way. easy to get invested in. I was pissed. Who's this fucking legendary spam bastard that just robbed Ash of his victory? Heartbroken. Honestly. Um, no, I, I think shit. it's one of the coolest things they ever did. Instead oh, it was Ash cool just, as fuck. Instead of I, Ash I it was awesome. like a complete noob, like in later ones, like you just have like a guy who actually had just has crazy mons, and like they actually like scary, like. Yeah. Also, I saw you, I like, saw you do Latios at Dark Ride is so cool. Which, like, I, I don't know if that... 
I, I, I don't really know a lot of our Pokemon. I, mean, not I think the cha for the like... championship, Ash always brings back like some of the old classics. Yeah, so. yeah, I don't know if he like did that before that no, point I'm or sure not. He did it every gen. He had. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty fine. sure he had. Right. I'm not sure what he did. Again, like, so. at the very least, that was Diamond Pearl was the first time I'd seen it, so seeing Ash pull out Sceptile, who I think is dope as fuck, uh, that, was, that was hype. And Sceptile actually beats one of Tobias's Pokemon. Um, yeah, he, he beat the duck right, right? Yeah, I and then so, yeah. he's got like the Latios or something. And then um, Pikachu takes out, take it, takes out the Latios, and then kind of. I'm pretty I sure Pikachu took the Latios. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't two ones. Like the, I think the Latios of Pikachu like double KO maybe. That, that was yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that the, other thing, the, ones. the other thing is, I feel like um, uh, Sinnoh was kind of the peak of Ash as a trainer before he got kind of soft reset in Gen Five, which was also what made it cool. That might yeah, be a lot of people agree. I mean, a lot of people agree that Ash gets soft reset in Gen Five, like power level wise and like everything. And like as a trainer, like he kind of loses a lot of his like previous knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, even yeah. like planning Gen to use Ash is kind of dope. Ways is just in, like cool. In general, just Gen Four has a lot of dope moments. Um, Rampardos was Bastion is an awesome episode, for example. I love the idea of the perfect defense versus perfect offense being actually done in the episode of Pokemon. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, Legendary mm -hmm. Spammer was awesome. And I think Team Galactic also basically didn't appear besides like a few episodes that I never really saw because you have to watch them back to back. Uh, Cynthia happens, but Cynthia exists, and there's always a plus because Cynthia's awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. iconic. Uh, Again, Dawn's well, like, good. I like Dawn's quite a bit. Oh, yeah, I think, I, this is a, I think this is a generation that also looks really nice. Like for the time, for the time it looked so good. Like I remember, I was like, "That's like top so seasoning, if not in sauce." It got I some agree. really good stuff. It also like I think this is like the golden age of Pokemon contest. I would say because the contests look so good at Gen Four. Like they come up with some <laughs> dope ash. The stuff. golden age. There are two generations that have contests in them. Uh, I mean, X and Y kind of has contests. Yeah, it kind of. Is. Okay. With a sauce, it sounds like sauce. I, I think after I mean, all that, sauce, sauce. Yeah. Sweet. Sure. Gen 5. Gen 5, I would say needs more development below Sinnoh. I yeah, personally I didn't really like Sinnoh more. I also, Gen 5 was also like airing on TV for me, and I got into Pokemon by way of black and white. So like, you know, oh fuck, black and white anime, that's like super exciting. But like, I, I think like, I just didn't I, like, like a lot I, of the characters. To be fair, like I, you guys episode, mentioned I, Ash's soft reset. I, I. I don't yeah. think I felt that at the time, but like maybe I, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't find him as cool. Don't really care for Iris one way or the other. Silent I found annoying, honestly. Um, yeah, he was the like, weirdest picks ever for like a companion for him, like just a first yeah. gym leader guy. And I think outside that. of that, like it had probably, I I remember as a kid, it just had a lot more episodes that are like. We go to a place, help out, show off a random Pokemon, and then we leave. You know, the, which to be fair, is most Pokemon episodes anyway, but like, coming off of Diamond and Pearl, where I felt like I was getting a lot more kind of plot significant fights and stuff as a kid, Black and White felt like a downgrade. Yeah. I think it was a pretty good OP. I oh, like, for sure. Uh, I like the yeah. last kid, yeah. Um, uh, I mean, nice. this one just kind of, like, switching up the companions definitely, like, some big upset for a lot of people. Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I the soft reset part, I think, didn't like come over good for Gen Five as much. I think yeah. the new rival is like just Paul, but a lot worse. Like just a lame, lame Paul. They let Sanji Paul like Trevor or something. Yeah, I, yeah. He, he uses a Snivy, which is already like an L because Snivy sucks. Hey, Snivy was cool. Now, uh, Ash's team is also like Octobot Snivy again, like two starters. Oh, he also uh, has a tap mid. He has also a tap mid. Wait, I forgot he has tap as well. Yeah. I forgot that I don't know how many times Ash gets like, every starter in, but Gen 5 is one of them. Um, uh, I in general, I, I think a lot of people talk about how Ash's team in Gen 5 is like super jobbery, and they like, at some point, they just are like, Ash is just only gonna use Crocodile. Like, it's just like he's gonna be his one like cool mod. This generation, um, and those parts I didn't even see that much. Like I, I watched like the early parts of this generation, but then I kind of like fell off afterwards. Um, yeah, I 
for me, I it was a case of... Um, really fun to watch, and, like, he's also, like, just really dope in battle, but I never got to see those parts, so I can't judge them. Yeah, no, for me, it was a case of, uh, fucking TV stations, whatever. I didn't really get yeah, to see, like, like, the, the like, second kind of half. Um, Best Wishes, I think it's called. Um, didn't even get to see N in the anime, even though I was so excited by the idea of it. Um, it was around more movies. in the later bits. Yeah, but I, again, these those just didn't, like, show up for me ever. Uh, Gen 5 movies, uh, yeah. everybody. Uh, Genesect? That was a pretty cool movie. Uh, I love Genesect. That's, like, I used Genesect when I played Black and White 2, and that was one of my favorite Pokemon after Our that. Our movie is Gen I'd... 4, technically, so one doesn't count. Um, I'd fully need to rewatch the Gen 5 movies, because I... Like, oh, wait, what, what are our... I don't remember wait, this, this, well. What's the Gen 5 movie that features the shiny Hydreigon? There's no, there's the Victini one that's like two of them Pokemon movie black and Pokemon movie white. Oh, one yeah, of them has those. like the shiny Hydreigon and the other one has a shiny Golurk, and they're like the yeah. same movie otherwise. Um, I wish I had the shiny it Hydreigon. It depends on also which Pokemon dope, Ash works with. That movie was dope, yeah. by the way. I haven't seen I remember that following it. Like, I remember watching that movie a bunch with my friends. Sometimes we'd put it on and we'd just like fall asleep watching it all together. Like, we'd yeah. watch Pokemon all night and end with that. It, it was such a good time. Fun. I've not seen oh, it in a while, but there was not. There was the Genesect movie. Well, talk about Gen 4, the... I forgot to talk about the Shaman movie. Shaman Hell movie? Really. So dope. Shaman Giratina. Oh, yeah. And, like, Magic Gigas pops up and, like, the calls of, like, a million Pokemon behind him. Ooh, there's so All many Pokemon in Red that, that's, a, that's such a good movie. Like, like everything comes together. Yeah. Sh Shaman what? Giratina one? Yeah, that's a recommendation. Like, definitely watch that one if you haven't. For sure. Black Butler. Black Butler. Black Butler. Uh, Has anybody I not seen like this? I have. I've, I've, seen read, it. I've, seen it. Um, I've read a decent amount of the manga. I watched you a like bit it? of the anime. I didn't personally like it very much. Talking but I was also D. a kid, so I will it's say D. I was a kid when I watched it. And that's that. Is Black, Black Butler D? Just, it's like Shota Khan fits you a bit. Is it? Yeah, that's probably and why I didn't like it as a kid. Yeah. That's a yeah. Part three. Part three. God, this has like so many of like the highlight moments of JoJo for me. I deal is hey, just my favorite. I think for everyone. Very I think yeah. JoJo part three is like the like if you like were like to do like be like like actually like take your glasses off and like actually analyze episode episode. There's so many, like, boring-ass tech Well, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the other thing about Jojo Part 3. It's got Jojo a lot of the best moments, just so and it is iconic, the though. worst for like, Monster Okay, but for one, Golden Age of David, David no Production, David attention. Production made three shows that are, like, giga good, and, like, everything else is trash, and this is one of the giga good ones. Like, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. uh, like, the team, uh, like, presentation, uh, voice actor performance, like, all those things, so good. So many iconic scenes. Like, this one is just, like, it's, like, like, if it were, like, nerd emoji, this would probably be mid. But, like, mm -hmm. it just has, like, moments... But it like, just like, can't be, dude. It's just so... It, it's just so... It's so... It's so fun. Like, Neo's World is, like, one of those arcs where, like, you can just go back and watch it and you're like, how did they make it this good? Like, so much is so iconic about this. Like, think about it like this. Uh, the voice actor for Dio is, like, so good. But, like, <laughs> so many people just yeah, associate him Dio. with Dio. So. He's Dio, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's Dio. He's fucking Dio. <laughs> It actually was I... good before as well. It's just it was such yeah, an iconic take. It's such a good performance. Uh, mm. Let's be honest. I... Time stop. It's like you hear that sound effect and you instantly know what it is. Like it's it's, it's like Sans yeah. Undertale like uh, first uh, moment of Megalomania uh, kind of levels of like iconic. Like, yeah. Also, sound, like, like time, oh, stop time stop is not like really an interesting power, but they do such an exciting fucking job with it that it feels interesting. Your world just mm. looks so fun rare. and good. Like. It is, it is, yeah. It is, um, as I said, just the golden age of David production where, like, it just looks so good. So, like, like everything looks so nice. Mm -hmm. it's actually, I like, also like, think, like, color palette swaps in this one. Ooh, this is just so... Like, we love, we love this good, one. Mm -hmm. I also it's probably so think that, like, the Stardust Crusaders are just my favorite, like, JoJo squad, I guess, probably. Um... Yeah, I think not of ones the most of developed, but they're JoJo so seven animated. I agree. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they bounce off each other really fucking well. Um, I it was the first one to have two JoJos in the same group, and that's fun. Also, you get the contrast of like 
holy shit, Joseph, you're so much different, but he still feels like Joseph, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I think Joseph I, I like is best lot. Joseph. He's so fine this one. Yeah, yeah. I do think, like, on sheer volume of mediocre, forgettable, like, standard elite fights, it's... It does it, lose points. Even the, even yeah, but I don't those even remember episodes, those. Uh, I don't, like, even, all I remember about this is the it, fucking peak. It, it's not also, yeah, you don't remember them once you finish watching them, but I remember the experience of a lot of time being spent on, like, mediocre stuff. I don't even, there I don't like a, remember being bored. I think like, even I remember... the mid-episodes have, like, the good moments. Like, for the Sun episode, it's literally just them sitting, like, the sun episodes, like, like, like 20 the, minutes. The Darby ones it... are good. Yeah, because um, even, like, even among those, like, kind of uh, Monster of the Week type stuff, it's still fun stuff happening. Like, it's still, like, yeah. JoJo shit it on has screen. There's just a couple that I remember, like, like not like, really These, these caring, guys are so much. fun to watch talk to one another. Yeah, because, no. yeah, as long as the main cast is there interacting with each other, it's going to be a good time. Yeah, I'm going to confidently say it's, like... These performances this show is, are crazy. Like, all of the voice actors are so iconic in their roles and so good at everything they do and say. See, again, all those, like, not-so-great episodes, to me, put it lower down in dry seasoning. Still in dry seasoning, though. Um, but, I mean, general point's fair enough, yeah. I, it's one of those things that, like, I think JoJo Part Three is so iconic. Like, like, when, when, like, if you for go, what's worth, like, if you go... were to rewatch all forty-eight episodes, that is four consecutive cores. Well, not consecutive, um, because blah blah blah. But four cores of JoJo, with a lot of like stand battles in there that aren't that interesting and fatigue a lot of people going around. Um, yeah, okay, if but you, if you, yeah, but I'm not Everyone gonna. Just goes on YouTube. Well, yeah. Goes on YouTube and type their favorite clip and then they watch it. Like, yeah. I suppose, yeah. Um, like, like, like. Let's be honest. If you go to look up like a clip on YouTube, the chance that it's gonna be like a JoJo Part Three thing is very high compared to some of the other shows here. Like, who watches yeah. like Sailor Moon clips on YouTube? Nobody. True. Mash for yourself. Um, fucking. Watch one Dude, episode of it. Have you guys and... heard? Have you guys heard the new opening? From Mashal, the season no. two opening. Bling, bang, this shit's bang, so fucking good, dude. I don't know why they made the opening so good for Mashal season I, two. Like, it Mashal deserves it. Was, all I, it all does. I saw was like, there, was, there was a tweet that someone said, Japanese people have discovered New Jersey. They have, yeah, it's true. It's like a Jersey beat. It's fucking Mashal. <laughs> it's so funny. Honestly, I like Mashal. It's not like one of the greatest, but it was fun and it's a good watch, good read. Like, I have not seen it. the uh, way I remember feeling about the first episode is that, like, this is quite, I guess, dictionary definition shonen, you know? Yeah. Like, I put it between one, okay, I was gonna say between One Punch Man and Demon Slayer, personally. It definitely is not above Demon Slayer. No, I think it's uh, more development. Maybe if I watched or yeah, read more of it, maybe I would like it more, but I haven't, so I don't. I'm sure I would enjoy it, like, about as much as like, it feels like more like grounded One Punch Man, like the idea of it. Like, yeah. if, no, actually, Mob Psycho. Yeah. I always felt like it's Mob Psycho, but the other way around. Yeah. Uh, but I, 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 I haven't guess. seen it, so I can't tell you how it actually is. It's like I think uh, I think the comparison is like if you mixed Mob Psycho and like Black Clover, you would get Mashal. Mob Clover. Yeah. I can see that probably. Like anyway. what was again? Like I generally will just not have an opinion on this because I peak it, Kaisen. Uh, I'll just refrain from speaking. Same. Well, I cool. guess, I think I guess that's it, ready. yeah. Think, peak Kaisen. I think Jujutsu Kaisen is pretty fun. <laughs> I wouldn't even put it in yeah. Peak like, at all. Like, it just, Would you just, not uh, put it in peak. Sauce? No, it's a common thing. Like, have you forgotten about things like uh, anything that happens between Shibuya and Al? Yeah, it's the same shit as with Jojo Part 3. I, like, I, yeah, there's, no, a, lot of, no, there's no, a lot of dumb no, shit in there. No. No. Yes, it is. No. It is. On, this is an anime tier list. Oh, okay, anime, anime. Then it's for sure sauce. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that on your side, like yeah. Bandersen, uh, and Petun Studio, and none of that uh, counts. This is even if we were anime. counting that, we can just write it off okay, the same way we did most good. of the JoJo stuff. Anime, Jujutsu Kaisen anime is pretty good to look at. Like, can't say that. Uh, it's story peak. Of these, so, story is fine. I mean, Shibuya See, is kind of like pretty good compared to like the first arcs. So. Yeah, well, to you, it's, um, yeah. So, sauce. 
<laughs> one is tailor made. Am I right? True. Exactly. Again, not like a better thing than the other tailor something joke you make. Anyway, is that just a two? What movie is this? Uh, that's not Nausicaa, is it? It's the Iron Giant one, right? Be. Like the Sky no. Castle. It might be I'm pretty sure it's Sky yeah. Castle one. This isn't one that I I've like... seen. Yeah, I have not seen this, it either. This, 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 I haven't this, seen this, anything this, from the studio. So. This, All right, well, this is this... <laughs> it's a sky, it's a sky I love, like Iron Giant stuff. Alright, well how good is it, Bando? You're the only one who has opinions. Where do you put it? You know, it's good. Good? It right season, There's I no... Say. Okay. So, there this you one's go. just kind of good. Sword Art Online Alicization specifically, because regular Sword Art Online is later down in the list. What is Alicization? Has, has anyone seen this other than me? I don't I remember know. what what happens in the, in Alicization. This is um. Is it just like uh, a sequel? Here's a blonde yeah, boyfriend. It just continues sequel, the story. Yeah. Is it just um, more? I don't. Okay, I don't think I've seen that far. It's more. No, no. I think you've seen Ordinal Skill, which is before it, and then haven't watched past. Okay. Um, it's it is the best. Well, not the best, but it is mostly the best and worst of SAO. Um, hmm. I'll say the moment. SAO the moment is pretty bad. Like, quality is slightly higher than the series average has been but it still like needs more development at yeah most, i say needs more development um needs okay. more development at, at okay um, yeah sweet Angel Angel Beach. Beach. i need to rewatch this thing. yeah this was another one want... that i watched very early on um i do remember liking yeah. it i probably cried i think i nearly no, I didn't actually. My friend called me heartless. Um, I feel like I put it in seasoning. I could probably stand for a rewatch, but I do remember liking it a lot. Yeah, I'm probably between like low seasoning or top of mid. To be fair, again, I would need to rewatch. I like Canada a lot, predictably. Um, well, really? Yeah, yeah, the white hair girl. <laughs> yeah, it might come as a shock. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just solid, funny. Funny, that's like people don't talk about how funny it is. I don't remember that. <laughs> it's it's pretty funny. Um, for both of like, you, I'm 100% yeah. goaded with the sauce. I Wait, maple? love every second of both of Except season two, apparently, isn't that right? That's true. That's a good point yeah. because season two exists at this point. I'd probably say dry season. Well, fortunately for you, that's the season one key visual. Uh, even though that's it's not just season one, work, just goaded. Goaded. if it's not. <laughs> Then uh, dry seasoning or mid. No, this is all of both. To me, it's and comfortably in, in the like mid. It's com it's comfortably in mid. Yeah, I mean like butchered the, the thing about Bulfury is that Maple is good and Sally is good and the supporting cast fucking suck and all they ever do is like circle jack how weird Maple is and it's like don't show me that just show me Maple instead I don't need to see this. They do um, their own stuff sometimes. Sometimes it was boring as shit because it's not maple. No, again, the um, anime, especially in the second season, did a whole lot worse about showing that, which is why I put I it mid. Dropped the second season. Oh, the second yeah. season sucked. I also dropped the second season. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. Um, I think I watched like one or two. Season? Yeah, I watched both three. Huh. Just was, there was nothing really memorable to me. I didn't really care yeah, about no, it, completely. but I watched it. Um, it was just very six out of ten, couple... I think. There like, was some solid like fight Ari. animation in there, like surprisingly True. good choreography. Um, and then I remember there was like a background in one episode. That it has really a very liked. unique but soundtrack. I'll give it that. That's true. That's true. Fucking the one insert song. Um, yeah. Na, 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 <laughs> na, na, that was great. Um, yeah. yeah. So mid. But yeah, top of mid boyfriend. Edge runners um, haven't maybe. seen it. I've never seen um, this. I was disappointed with it. First half was pretty fun. Second half was pretty disappointing. I don't know. Have you seen Edge Runners? No. Well, right, Maple, where do you put it? You Just put it above Black it. Butler, but leave it in D. Alright. Dragon Ball. Okay. That's super specifically. Which is okay. like... Such an... Should we put the Dragon Balls together, by the way? Absolutely not. I How mean, many other ones are there? Well, because OG is the only one, 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 one that I actually have opinions about. Yeah, and then I like it. this like free runner. Super had like a cool moment or two, but wasn't very good overall. I'd say. 
Super, Super exists in this weird position where I think it has a lot of solid stuff and it has a lot of bad stuff and it is like a it's a weird existence in relation to like well modern Dragon Ball is just like reviving like a retro franchise for the sake of like continually profiting off of it in the I same see. way that like fucking Disney does with Star Wars. Um, yeah. But like it's more soulful, admittedly. Um, there's more of a serious attempt to like do something with that old IP. But then there's also a lot of like, hey, do you remember when Vegeta like did that thing? Hey, here's that scene again. I, I'd um, say mid or needs more context development. Is different, so it sucks. Um, I if it's in needs more development, it's at the top of the tier. If it's in mid, yeah. it's honestly, I again, I, I'd say above Demon yeah, Slayer I, is good. I can also I can put it above One Punch Man, maybe. Um... Uh, uh, actually, yeah, I can't. I think uh, One Punch uh, Man's got a better story than Super. Uh, uh, it's, it's annoying. Like, I think back to, like, all the parts of Super that are really good, and then all of those moments have, like, a fucking asterisk there that I says, like, oh, Goku here. Blackheart's great. The ending is the worst fucking <laughs> thing in Dragon Ball. Or, oh, Tournament of Power is really good. Jiren isn't a character, you know? Um, I think if they continue the manga, it might be a bit better. Or if they continue the anime. Manga does Dragon Ball nice Daima, it's here. Um, is GT2 this, is this Z or Kai? This is Z. Um, yeah, well, Z is the same shit. I think it's between Z and Kai, but I think Z is a little better than Super. See, I I haven't actually like Dragon Ball Z proper in full ever. I can attest to like how much I like the story in the manga, um, but I'm aware of the fact that the anime is like not consistently visually always there and quite slow um which is probably like a, a some points docked maybe i'd comfortably put it top of mid if not bottom yeah. of dry seasoning um, I, I fully agree yeah to be i oh, that's what i'm gonna say bottom of dry seasoning for sure um, I, I think the I, super saiyan transformation pushes it up because that is like one of the most iconic things in all of anime Dragon, what do you think of classic Dragon Ball? Hmm, I hate it. Really? <laughs> nice. Um, I, I uh, love OG Dragon Ball. My favorite of all Dragon Balls. It's been long enough since I read the manga on OG Dragon Ball. This kind of like swept under the rug enough to where I don't really remember it's that just much about it. Other than the most, it. it just does not hold up in modern times ever. <laughs> Like it's so bad I, I, I in so many a ways. Lot of the, uh, the jokes, <laughs> which are very off the time. Um, and I've only seen like a I third thought... of the original series, but it's like, yeah. fuck, man. It's I mean, it wow. I Shit, it dude. Me, to be fair, um, I agree. Needs more development, then. Sure. I'd say needs more. Yeah, we can keep it low in the tier. That's fine. Part four. Part four. Um. I remember yeah. not liking Part 4 that much when I watched it, basically because, like, it's the slice of life part, it's the Saturday morning cartoon villain part. Um, all those episodes where, like, Yoshikage's dad, like, flies away in a picture frame with a stand arrow, and it's like, I'll get that Josuke next time, is, like, kind of goofy and dumb. Um, Jojo? Goofy and time, dumb? Then I, like, reflected on it over however long and started realizing like oh there's a lot about this part that is like the best animated jojo part up to that point um mm -hmm. all the characters are great yoshikage kira is really good the setting is fun mario's mario's a cool place mm -hmm. um i i don't want to say it's visually the best jojo but it might have my favorite character designs in jojo um mm -hmm. i really really like josuke's white outfit no not josuke jotaro's Jotaro. white outfit by the way um this one's yeah. another one where it's like there's bad episodes but you don't remember them and you just remember the good moments like yeah. when jotaro beat the hit kira you remember the kira arc this is good and mm -hmm. i think this one is more like the problem with this one is uh this is the first jojo where uh, they were productions were like remember we were making good looking anime no we, we will not make good looking anime anymore um uh, to be fair the 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 dvd release for this one fixes actually a lot of the issues. It looks a lot more good. They had to redraw like a lot of the anime, which this one is like a product. Like they, this is where their production starts doing a thing where every single thing they do, their production is just completely messed up garbage. Uh, but uh, the DVD, the DVD actually, uh, no, no, the Blu-ray DVD release thing, it, it fixes it. They, they redraw like half the show because half the show original release 
looked unbearably bad. I literally watched JoJo long enough ago to where I almost didn't even parse that. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't at all. There literally, there literally this is something is I didn't register. Oh there no, it's okay. I've seen, I've seen the website banter. Fear not. Yeah, it's very uh, notable. They, they, like, there's so many shots where they just redo the entire shot, basically. Yeah, but to be fair, looking at pictures of shots and actually watching the show is like a kind of different experience. It's not. When they, when they redo, I, like, remember, remember it, the, the trust me, it is. <laughs> trust me, if I see like an out of context screenshot of JoJo, that is not going to inform how I feel like JoJo looks in my mind. Which is not I mean, me defending how powerful it looks. It's me saying that I don't remember the experience of how it looked because I don't remember watching uh, it and noticing it being bad. That's, that's all. Though. Uh, yeah, you're one of the good things. Kira arc is so probably the best written arc in JoJo. I don't think more like Kira is the best villain. It's just very interesting. You know, it's not like in dry fun. seasoning is like clear by this point. Well, yeah, yeah obviously. Just sort of side part three. Yeah, okay. I think it's worse than yeah. part three. It's definitely worse well, than part it three. It can go below part three, obviously, but I mean, yeah, yeah to me, good. to me, it's very similar. Like watching, I watched part four right after I watched part three. I was just like binging all of JoJo, so it's very yeah. similar in my mind, and I think it is just kind of in general. Yeah, part five I watched as it was airing, which was like yeah, this was I, I think my part Jojo five movie. was when I first bought a Crunchyroll subscription so I could watch Ooh. I could watch new episodes as it came out. I just went over to my friend's house uh, and she had Crunchyroll, um, and if I wasn't at her house that day, I would just watch on like GoGo -Go Anime or something. Um, but part five. Is strange um it's like it's hard, hard describing it in a way it feels like the biggest departure up to that point you know it's certainly well, yeah, like it it's Except for like part one yeah. and part two build off of each other really naturally part three continues that part four a bit less so but like jotaro and, and J joseph are still there Mm -hmm. Part 5, like, basically doesn't have any old characters in it, like it does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's the most, like, alright, we're gonna do our own thing arc up to that point. Um, which is, like, mm -hmm. respectable. Um, but then the, like, obvious comment that people make is, like, Giorno is, like, the flattest <laughs> Jojo. Um, he's... He has his character motivation, and he works towards that motivation, <laughs> and that's kind of all you're going to get out of him. Um, and that motivation, as Bando has uh, frequently chastised, is... Wait, Bando doesn't like Giorno? ...for kids specifically, um, which is like, yeah, that is a bit goofy, isn't it? Um, I mean, yeah. I remember there's a lot of solid fights. Um... There's some there's some nice visual moments in there. Um, there's also quite a bit of goofy stuff. Um, I think Requiem stands are kind of cool. Um, mm -hmm. Diavolo is a decently fun villain, although he like he kind of feels like he's rehashing stuff to some degree because it's like the he, he doesn't want people to find yeah. out his identity. It's like, well, Yusuke Akira did that, and he has abilities that are related to time fuckery. Well, Dio did that. Um, yeah. Like, he's... To be fair, he does the, like, doppo thing, like, split personality. That's something new, but it's like, eh, I don't really care. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, I mean, the boss buff is pretty cool. Bitterati is a police mm -hmm. officer. That's true. Mid? Yeah. Nice yeah. top of mid. Like, it's still a JoJo it's part at the end of the day. It's still issues. fun it's for all the reasons that JoJo issues. is fun, but yeah. Although, Josh, the Rick Jones stands are cool. There were two. One of them was cool. Yeah, and they were the fucking cool, Bando. Bad. Yeah, come on, Bando. Nah, come nah. on. I, I will agree that Silver Chariot Rick is very cool stand. I love a stand that just, like, messes around. Like, 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 super goofy stand. Uh, Very cool stand. I love it. Uh, probably one of the coolest stands they made. And then you have Golden Experience Requiem, which is... Uh... Awesome. Horimiya. And it was the only hey, Requiem stance, because the Requiem era was not actually that important to the part. Yeah. Horimiya. I like Horimiya. Like... 
I put it like comfortably like high mid, I guess, or like mid mid. It's I I like Kori and Miyamura and like some of the supporting characters. But there's a lot more supporting characters I don't give a fuck about, and the show gives a fuck about. Um, really, I any time attention was on them, it was like, uh... So I said I like I Hori and Miyamura. I like Miyamura. Um, Hori is... She's, like, she's there because she's a pack. Oh, hold on, hold on, Josh. Um, hold on, Josh. Are you telling me you don't want your girlfriend to demand that you beat her up? I don't, no, it's the homophobic comment that got me. Um... That the the homophobic comment is the best one. I I, I love the uh, please cheat on me with girls, not with guys. Uh, if you cheated on me for a guy, I would be like very mad because uh... yeah. Yeah, but then, yeah, uh, yeah it, Mia, it's just meant to me. Uh, it's Mia, fine. Basically, uh, uh, it should have been the show about Yuki because Yuki's a good character. I like him. It looks quite nice. I think I like um, the pink girl. I hate her. She's probably the worst character in Horimiya next, next to Hori. Yeah, you would think that. Yeah, you would she think sucks. that. But she sucks. I like All her. I'm saying is she was Franchi's favorite character. So you guys have Franchi pilled. I'm a Franchi ult. Mm. I would put this to in the like top of me, to be fair. I think I rated season 1 like at 7 or something, but then Maple. I like, dropped season 2. Horimiya. Maple. Alright, well, part Probably one. Uh, part okay. one! Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a good start. It's, like, fun. I, I like a lot of the stuff. It's true, it man. It's, it's, it's probably, say, like, it's the a... easiest JoJo part to remember everything that happens in it because it's so funny. Because there's 12 episodes, yeah. Um, nine, actually. Um, Same thing. <laughs> it's, it's, no, no, it's even shorter than you think. But also, yeah, it's like a... <clears throat> It is the least interesting JoJo. It's a very conventional hero's journey. Um, every teacher part would basically improve on it in every way. Um, including yeah. part, part two, two, which is next. Which is great. I fucking part love two. part two. Okay, part, part two, two is, let the, let's for a while, the part two was like the... by having the best JoJo in the series as its protagonist. And he's not fucking good, but it works. Um... I think a lot of the other characters in that part are still good. Um, nah. There's a lot of yeah, iconic was, ones. Like, I don't think any compare to... Cool. Cars is like a really, really awesome villain. That's true. Um, the villains are very bad. fun. No, I like the okay. villains a lot. The villains the are like, play... fine villains. Uh, most of, they just kind of look cool. Uh, and their theme is like probably like up there like probably like it's definitely in the top three like most iconic most important jojo themes i like them a lot theme. yeah but as you know, pillar, the pillar man theme plays on we know what happens everyone fucking loves yeah. the pillar also, man theme also i think like there's something kind of fun about part two in that there's no stands so like the joseph does some crazy ass pool to win the fight feels a bit more it there's there are a few more unique ways for them to execute it. Because in, like, part three, for example, whenever Jyoto does an ass pool, it's usually just, all right, it's time for me to uh, aura aura a bunch. Our and it's like, all right, yeah, I, I've seen this, I've seen this. <laughs> um, but when Joseph gets to do that in part two, he has, like, a lot more I ways think of it going would have gone that, old if this really was what fun. Jojo was about. But for one part, and with one super charismatic person doing it, it works perfectly. Like yeah, it's very fun. Yeah. It um, doesn't overstay its welcome, and it's just very awesome. Like, Let's be honest. The when when, jo when Joseph says next you're gonna say this and then he they say it and then they go like. Oh, God, <laughs> that was even like a thing. Oh, it's so did. good. It's um, so fucking good. Yeah. Josh also, the like best gimmick that he does. It's just, I, it's just been a while since I've watched it. That's all. Um, the other thing that's like kind of relevant to say is like. Part two is like most people's favorite part if they're anime only. I think. Yeah, um, I think that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, for a good reason. It's because I think it's anime it's, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. And uh, it's I can maybe seven. see the case uh, for sauce. Really good. Honestly. It could be. Um, yeah, it's kind of sauce. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Overlord. Overlord. I've never seen this. I've seen. Overlord's I think okay. four episodes. Didn't really care. It's like alright. It's like a cool. it's an easy kind of it's like not complete that like ass like it's like watchable definitely. 
Okay. Zone 100, Zone 100 is comfortably like the middle of needs more development. I'm gonna because it literally does need um, more development. Yeah. Like it had a good episode one, and then nobody finished it. I that's finished the only episode. It. That's the only um, episode I saw. So you know, I thought it was a pretty solid show. Hey. Yeah. Hey, I, didn't I say the first episode's gonna be really good, and then like people are not gonna care nearly as much for the rest of the show? I said so. Wow, Mano called it. Well done. Don't get on like mine. Yeah, Bando, suck your dick watched, some more. I have watched um, this, and this one was kind of like, everyone told me that this one was like good, and I didn't think so. Compared I, to um, Sword Art Online, it is. But I, 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 really I, have, like I haven't even seen Sword Art Online. Exactly. That's why this one was made. Yeah. Um, I mean, it is mid. Like I think I rated it a 6 out of 10, but when I look at it in comparison to the rest of Sword Art Online as a whole, yeah, it's, you know, it's the best one. I guess they're, I mean, I I guess they're was... both friends. This was the first gay one, so I guess it helps. You know? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Bando. Anything to make fun of gay people for wanting to see wait, 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 I just stuff. said. I, um, I just said it's like a positive, arguably. <laughs> I don't I mean, it sounds like collectively it's going to go in mid. Mid, yeah. Um, it can be like, honestly, I wouldn't yeah. even put it in mid. It's, this one's more neat sort of album than any day. I think, I think it would be mid. I put it in dry seasoning, personally, so I think right, well, know, it's mid. mid so it's fine. Um, I think right. it's good, basically. Uh, it's got a lot of fun stuff that it does with some of the game concepts. It feels fun seeing a different writer, blah, 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 blah. I've also not seen this. Um, cool. I get to Mar- put it in. Oh, 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 oh. More about it. Nice. Like, this entire, like, compared to the rest of the list, this this, this is a weird so pick. Bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, because this is this, this um, watching anime in like twenty twenty one. Ari Ferretta. Like, yeah. No, no, this is the villain show season, that aired right? like a couple seasons ago. Wait, why is this Ari? Right? Or last season? Because they well, started. This person started watching anime in like twenty twenty or twenty twenty or twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two or something. Um. I'm going to watch more of that show, by the way. I just haven't. Um, go on a Super Bowl for on D. Where D? Mm. <laughs> that ranking for In Love with the Villainous feels unfairly low. Yeah, well, fuck uh, you. Yep, None of us have watched past the first episode. Um, <coughs> and the first episode was kind of boring. Yes. I'm going to watch so more well. of it. Silent Voice? Silent Voice. I need to rewatch this, honestly, because it's been a while. Um, this is just sauce, I have right? Been, uh, yeah, it just kind of sauce, man. It's probably sauce, if not dry As a movie experience, it works. Like, if it wasn't just... well, it was an anime, it probably wouldn't be good. As a yeah, movie, for sure. it works so good. It's just like, really, here's... really well done. The, the thing is, right, the actual manga probably has enough content to fill out a 12 it episode does. anime. It does, yeah, it if, for sure if, does. Would that be better? I, no, I don't really know. No, it would not. Um... <laughs> they, I guess yeah. told... they culled a lot of well, stuff that just didn't need to be there and wasn't great. Yeah. No, I pretty it, much had that experience. They made a like much the... better movie. Yeah, my like, my like story was like I watched the movie, thought it was great, <laughs> read the manga, I was like I can't believe they called the shit. I the manga is way better, and then like thought about it some more. I was like, was any of that shit that they caught out actually like particularly good? No, it wasn't. Not really. <laughs> so the movie. Rare, is this a rare case of cutting things out actually being kind of dope? Yeah. I probably haven't seen the movie in like five years or something, actually. Um, and watch it. Yeah. It just takes two hours to watch. Yeah, it's a good yeah, movie. Maybe. Um, seven Deadly Sins? Uh... Actually, did Maple watch any of these games? <laughs> we haven't asked Maple in like the last 20 minutes. Yeah, well, Maple's been I mean, silent. I, I dropped JoJo, so I left while you guys discussed JoJo. Oh, okay. I, anything you want to change that was put there okay. after JoJo? In love with the villainous, at least above Edge Runners. Yeah, about okay. Okay. And then I think that's about it. Yeah. Nice. You can I mean, probably campaign to go higher. Than the first nope, the first too late. Episode. Um, in love with the middleness. You can put someone hundred like in love needs more development, like higher tier, or like you can put like next to higher there. and needs more development, just a little higher and needs more development for some. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair. fair. Yeah. Three zero. Oh, no. Zero. I kind of like the first oh, no. season, and I fucking hate the second one. I'm um, not big on ReZero. That's collectively. I like ReZero. Most I like it. Season, I don't remember a lot that I happened just... because it's been a long time since I watched most of it. But I've w- I, I I've spent a day watching like the entirety of the se- first season and then every episode of the second season with other people for because they really because they really wanted to do that. And it was during mm-hmm. COVID, so everyone was like always like not busy. Uh-huh. Uh, 
it, it was kind of fun. Like, I don't know. Look, I, I, I spent, like, basically a complete day watching ReZero, and I didn't, like, dislike it. Um, yeah, I think it's, kinda... a, it's a solid show. It's a very fun concept, especially at first. Um, it's well made. I it needs more development, but it definitely has more than enough development. Well, it's higher than <laughs> it needs more development. <laughs> I'd say, yeah. like, low, like, very low, like, bottom of mids for me, relative to the fact that, like, I did actually like the first season, but just hated the second one. I would say, like, top I think of we mid. Just got or I think we dry just kind of comp- I, would put, I would put a dry seasoning actually. Like I like, I just like it. Like if season three comes out ever, I'll watch it definitely. It will. Remember if they confirm that it's, it's coming out. Coming. Hold on, Maple. Isn't what's it coming out this year? Oh, I'd put it in mid or needs more development. Okay, I guess okay. it could be mid. I think that works out to top of mid. Yeah, Ruby. Yeah. Ruby. Uh, is this Ice Queendom or I guess this is not. No, this Ice just Queendom. looks like actual real. Yeah, that's Ruby. Just... Well, I've only seen Ice Queendom, and this is an anime tier list, so I'm going to talk about Ice Queendom, well, which is, like, fucking D. <laughs> honestly, even Ruby at this point is D. It's gone. Rest in peace, Ruby. Nowhere, Ruby, don't watch it, uh, Ruby, don't watch this video. Ruby DNI. <laughs> My family is, like, perfectly in the middle of mid. I think, I think, it's when I watched I season one, know. I enjoyed it quite a lot. It... I mean, yeah. it's just very well made. It's it's just like one of the most I think accessible anime. It's just like yeah. fucking like everyone can kind of understand what it is, what it's going for. I think it's like hard to dislike. Um, yeah, but, but at then, the same time, it's I nothing special. And then it just keeps it. fucking going. It just continues being the same shit and keeps airing. Yeah, and it's just like okay, yeah, I've it, kind of already seen it. I think most people kind of agreed at the time, even, that, like, the split core thing basically immediately killed the hype for that second core. And an actual mm-hmm. season two proper aired, like, so soon afterwards as well. I mean, really like, split core is a bad thing to do. Like, it, I, yeah. like what show the split core and it feels good? Never. Don't do split cores, guys. Um, nope. Mid. Yakunar and Mokop, Um. Cool. Oh, yeah, Short Art Online. Is like, Yo, it's Kirito. It's yeah, D. D. Right? We can just, yeah. yeah, fucking hate that Chase shit. Man, can put at, like, the sauce. top of sauce. Yeah. yeah. Slime. Um, slime to me is D. Yeah, you didn't even ask me for what the first episode. Yeah, well. Though. What I'd do we think of Slime? Maybe. Again, I've only seen the first episode. For me, slime it's is D. Mid. Slime is Free D. Free run? I would put in sauce. Like Go to with the sauce, hundred percent. I, I, I agree, sauce. I'd put in mid. I, think I love free run. I will die for free run. Free run's goaded. I will live cool. for free run. Be... Free run's goaded. Maple will die for free run. The character. Ma- Maple will lick free run's boots like a dog. Put them part two above the Pokemon's. I think it's mm. fine. Part 2 can go there. <laughs> there is enough of a quality gap between <laughs> Cohen and Sinnoh for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for battle tendencies to, to squeeze right in. I, yeah. I, I would say, I think like Advanced Generation uh, has the better like regular show. So I think Gen 4 definitely wins on the movies. Gen 4 yeah. movies are... They're so good, man. I should like just go rewatch them sometimes. Like, Pokemon Movie Group yeah, watch? Like... Hey, I can do that. I think Pokemon fun. Movie Group Watch is actually something we can do. Like, no re- like, the, the movies are like so more yeah, accessible. Let's, I guess. Let's do I it. have them all downloaded. Yeah, let's do it. Anyway, is there anything well, else no, we need I to change to about? The- well, yeah, obviously. But is there, is this the final tier list? Is this the Estrogen oh, Witches anime tier list? Final tier list. Thank you, Estrogen Witch. Estrogen Witch. I feel like it is. You've seen a pretty good array of anime, I think. I mean, good this start. is like a. Clear, yeah, I, I they Just have start. been watching keep anime for like I, two years or three yeah. years or something. Keep going, still you'll find there. more good stuff. Yeah. You need to yeah, watch more sure. mid, go to rough dry seasoning, and needs more development shows so it can be truly more like a real penis than like this penis with huge balls. And it's like weird lopsided penis, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what my penis looks like. That's weird. Well, um, anyway, thanks for watching.
tune in next time for whatever subscriber special comes next.